Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, hello everyone. I am Koshik. Uh, presently, I am a PhD student in IIT Kanpur. And today, we uh, this is the second video of uh, the series where I try to interact with uh, uh, those aspiring PhD students who have uh, already got a position secured in uh, prestigious institutes in India. So today we have with us uh, Mr. Prasad Power. He is presently a PhD fellow in IIT Gandhinagar in the Department of Physics. And uh, today uh, we will try to have a conversation where, uh, which would be beneficial to you all. So hi Prasad, uh, how are you? Hi Kaushik. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing fine. How are you? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Basically, we are meeting after a long, long time. We yeah. met uh, a long time ago. So um, basically, uh, what uh, I would uh, uh, try to ask you at very first is, would you like to introduce yourself uh, in a brief way? Yeah, so uh, hi, everyone. I'm Prasad. Uh, so I'm doing PhD here at IIT Gandhinagar. It's been uh, one year. Uh, I'm in uh, quantum optics group, which is headed by uh, Professor uh, Prasanna Venkatesh. And currently I'm working uh, in uh, intersection of quantum optics, quantum information and quantum many body physics. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, first of all, uh, so I would uh, like to ask you, so basically, uh, you, where did you complete your uh, masters from? Yeah, I completed my masters from uh, IIT Palakkad, which was back in July, 2022. Okay. Yeah, and then I joined here uh, in December 2022. So basically, what uh, was in the back of your mind while you were preparing for a, P uh, a PhD interview? And basically, yeah. So uh, I, uh, I I was not thinking of joining particular uh, institution or uh, something. Mm -hmm. uh, I had prepared uh, a list of uh, professors which I would like to work with okay. during my PhD. Okay. So it was not only... Uh, professors in India, it was professors abroad, US, Europe, okay. mostly Germany in, in Europe. Uh, and I was targeting those who work in the, the field of open quantum systems and uh, quantum optics, because uh, I, I initially I wanted to work in particle physics, but slowly my interest shifted to yeah. uh, open open quantum systems. Okay. So I just prepared an Excel sheet and okay. all professors were there. And one of the professors was Professor Prasanna Venkatesh, okay. whom I am working with. Okay. So that's how I decided I, I, if I get a chance to work uh, with him, I'll definitely get it. And I'm here. Okay. So uh, after your words, it seems like mostly it should be the uh, professor or the area which you want definitely. to work with rather than the institute or the country. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I would like to ask you, so uh, what was the... Uh, like um, uh, the prepare what was your preparation period uh, i mean preparation mm. uh, how was it how it was going and how did you prepare for this uh, interview like uh, the in india when you try to secure a position mm. as a phd fellow you should go through some entrance exams like net gate or jest so how did you right. uh, manage those things actually it's funny i uh, uh, I, I haven't qualified gate or net yet okay. So uh, I, since I did my master's from IIT Palakkad, okay. I didn't need to do that to join okay. IIT Gandhinagar. Okay. Uh, so the thing is, if you uh, do your uh, master's from any of the uh, centrally funded technical institutes, okay. you don't, uh, if any, if, if you get, uh, get a CGP above eight, mm -hmm. uh, you can directly go to go to appear in that institute's interview okay. or in the case of IIT Gandhinagar, uh, it's actually, uh, not only interview, there's these two stages, one written exam and then interview. So you have to first okay. qualify the written exam okay. and then uh, you have to go through the inter interview process. So, and, uh, yeah, 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 continue. And uh, with written exam, I, uh, I didn't have any hopes of uh, just okay. uh, uh, getting into interview, but uh, somehow I did, I did go into interview. So it has, it's okay. kind of luck as well. Okay. 
so uh, uh, as you mentioned so iit gandhinagar has this two stage qualification process so once you yeah. go through okay so uh, and then, then it's a really good option for those who are pursuing their masters in iits so that uh, yeah so if they can maintain the cgp so uh, yeah uh, diving into the uh, technical one so um, i would like to ask you uh, basically uh, when you actually got selected in this uh, written exam and you mm. uh, got a call for the uh, in person interview so how yeah. was the like in brief how was the, the panel and uh, wha- what they actually uh, like how they behave with you at first glance that's the thing mm. uh, so this is another uh, uh, funny incident that uh, uh, actually my my guide prasanna he didn't want any students at that time okay. so i just uh, i i thought that just i should just uh, give the interview get some experience of getting interview mm-hmm. so i just uh, said to them that uh, if he isn't accepting i just go to the high energy physics group so i went to the high energy physics uh, panel mm-hmm. and i just told them that i am interested in this and this person's research so prasanna's research basically uh, so they just told that you can meet him uh, he is in other another panel we, he was in some uh, okay uh, soft matter uh, panel so i actually went to him and then he was the only person in that panel who was asking me questions okay so yeah and uh, i uh, he uh, asked me some question about uh, what my masters uh, project was and then uh, some basic questions about uh, about quantum mechanics okay. like uh, commu- uh, the like the trace of commutator for example or uh, what is a coherent state he was asking me basic questions and uh, during the during the interview itself uh, uh, he was always guiding me towards the answer he was trying to see if uh, if i can uh, understand the process of okay. getting to the answer okay. instead of actually getting to the answer mm-hmm. so yeah and other panels uh, other panelists were just uh, making cracking jokes in between so that was a funny experience okay so basically uh, the the panel members they were helping you while you were in the interview period it it was more like yeah. a, a process where they uh, find mm-hmm. whether you can guess uh, guess their hints or not whether right okay so you are in a uh, right way or not so uh, would you like to share some uh, questions that you were asked if you remember uh the kind of questions that you were asked in the interview panel so that it is much more technical to the viewers yeah, so the the questions that uh, mainly prasanna was asking me yeah. my guide was asking me yeah yeah so uh, the first question that he asked was uh, like a kind of basic one but uh, people often uh, don't get it in qu- like in quantum mechanics yeah so uh, say if you have uh, two operators a and b okay and uh, you have commutator of them like commutator of a and b mm-hmm. right and if you try to find trace of that commutator mm-hmm. uh how, what you would do is just uh, commutator is ab minus ba right mm-hmm. and you take trace of it mm-hmm. but since trace is cyclic tra- uh, trace of ba is equal to trace of ab mm-hmm. right so it turns out that trace of ab minus ba is zero yeah. right yeah. but uh, there is one counter example to it Uh, which prasad na asked me in the interview uh, he asked me that whether it is always true the, uh, i i didn't uh, quite uh, remember i didn't quite know the answer to it but then he asked me to find commutator of x and p mm-hmm. which is position and momentum mm-hmm. and it turns out commutator of x and p is i h bar into some identity mm-hmm. yeah and if you find trace of it it is non zero yeah it's actually it's actually infinite yeah so, which uh, this means that uh, the trace of commutator is only uh, non is only zero if your uh, commu- if your a and b operators they come in uh, are uh, not commute they uh, they are in a uh, uh, finite dimension okay. they are finite dimension okay only then it is true yeah which is which was interesting and uh, i didn't know that before a lot of uh, a lot of people i talked to later they didn't know this before so mm-hmm. uh, he was just trying to see if i can uh, i can understand that which is it is very profound in quantum mechanics yeah. basic quantum 10 this qm1 but uh, we still fail to understand this yeah. very simple yeah. fact the the second question that i remember was about coherent states 
he actually didn't tell me that uh, he was asking me about coherent state he just gave one definition of uh, like if you have a state and an annihilation operator acts on that state mm -hmm. uh, and it it gives you the that state the same state back with some eigen value yeah this is actually a definition of coherent state and he asked me to find the differential equation of it differential equation of a coherent state and okay. if you act it with a bra of x then you actually can derive the differential equation so uh, it was a process so at every step of the process i had to think what to do next yeah uh, but uh, yeah so it was it was interesting one thing okay so uh, mostly as you mentioned that uh, it was only prasanna who was asking questions yeah. and mm -hmm. you yourself was interested in the mm -hmm. open quantum system and this this branch of physics but mostly your, mm -hmm. your questions were related to that area of physics right or it went uh, <laughs> they were related in the sense that uh, it was like basic quantum mechanics that yeah. uh, you you might learn in um, uh, quantum uh, any master level quantum course mm -hmm. but uh, it was it was basic but he didn't expect that i know this much uh, for example if i want to do any research in quantum uh, quantum uh, optics mm -hmm. he wouldn't uh, expect me to know what a wigner function is for example yeah. but very basic things yeah. but i think it depends uh, on panel to panel that's one important thing uh you can't uh, like say that only this will be asked like only basics will be yes, asked yes. advanced stuff will not be asked but yes. sometimes panelists might not ask advanced stuff also which uh, you might have done in your masters project mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that can be true that can be true yeah, yeah. so um as mostly uh, you uh, uh, told us about the interview experience after that as uh, many of our viewers are watching this video and most most of them are aspiring phd students so um, one question i always ask is uh, so what could be your advice or suggestion to them while uh, if suppose they want to apply in abroad and they also yeah. don't want uh, to give up the hope of applying in india so they are mm -hmm. in a uh, in a dilemma of whether i should go for abroad or i should stick to india so what do you think what should be the first priority of while choosing choosing in between india and abroad that's that is good. i think there are a couple of advices that i can tell yeah uh it depends on uh, so during your masters you should do two things first get as much skilled as possible whether and uh, you should uh, know by uh, third your second or third semester what exactly you want to do whether you want to at least whether you want to work in theory or experiments yes this is this is one important thing that uh, one should know mm -hmm. uh, and after knowing that uh, you should get as much skilled as possible in whether you are doing theory or experiments if yeah. if your work requires a lot of computation you should you should uh, get yourself skilled in that mm -hmm. uh, whether your work uh, requires a lot of experimentation or specific instruments you should get skilled in that uh, this will this will help you with uh, your phd process okay uh, phd applications especially abroad okay uh, the case of uh, whether choosing abroad or uh, india it's it's actually very complicated because uh, funding in science is uh, anyway very uh, limited and funding in india is even limited so if you yeah. want to work in experiment and uh, you have to see whether th there are enough experiments done in that field in india okay uh, i i don't know very uh, about very specific field you have to do your research yourself and see which professors work in what area so you shouldn't go by the name of the institute mm -hmm. you should uh, uh, you should uh, like i shortlisted professors you should shortlist professors and then uh, see what they are actually doing and uh, don't just uh, while applying to phd don't just look at the institution look at the uh, the professors yeah and if uh, if you just go into institute and then then decide uh, after uh, joining phd that will be hard you yeah. uh, sometimes it might happen that you you won't like what uh, you are doing and yeah. Uh, uh, yeah that is terrible situation to be yeah. i yeah. Yeah, i joined here and i'm very happy like i go i am doing what i like yeah and, uh, so that's the, you should yeah that's the main thing like you should yeah. not uh, uh, be doing something which you yourself don't like and you are just doing mm -hmm. it for some 
other side. Yeah. So that's the main thing. One, one more, one very important thing is your guide. Uh, okay. Yeah. Should, sure. Do, sure. <laughs> you should do really background check on your guide because uh, uh, toxicity in, in academia is very true. It's really true. Uh, if your boss is not happy uh, with you or whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he or she is they are making your life miserable, then uh, no, you can't survive in academia. So you have to, you have to be very careful with your guide. So yeah, yeah that's one thing. So yeah, basically these were, these these advices were, uh, uh, I mean, much more important than than, uh, than those technical stuff. So yeah, I, <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. So anyway, thank you, Prasad. Thank you for yeah. uh, your advices and for your time uh, to give us. I I really hope that these uh, advices and informations will be helpful for our viewers and again thank you very much thank you very much See you. thank you thank you thank you kaushik very much for uh, uh, arranging this this is a very really good initiative i i saw nila just talk, talk uh, nila just interview as well yeah. so it was really nice yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you Hello.